Welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about Apache CouchDB, commonly known as CouchDB, which is developed by Apache Software Foundation. It is an open source document oriented database with no SQL. No SQL means which doesn't have the schemas like the database, MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL, or Oracle. CouchDB uses JSON to store the data and it can be accessed by the web browser via HTTP protocol. So we can manage CoachDB database by using a web interface. It is also called as Futon. By using Futon, we can able to perform some administrative tasks like creating and manipulating database documents and users for CoachDB. So let's install CoachDB now. Before going to install any software, update your repositories. So type apt hyphen get space update and hit enter. Now the repositories is updating. Now the update is completed. Now run the following command apt you can get space install space software hyphen properties hyphen common space hyphen y and hit enter. Now the package is installing. Now run the following command to add the PPA repository for CoachDB where PPA means personal package archive. Now type add hyphen apt hyphen repository space ppa colon coach db slash stable space hyphen y and hit enter. Now the repository is added. Once again update your repositories. So run the command apt hyphen get space update and hit enter. Now the repository is, is getting updated. After updating your repositories, you can install CoachDB by running the following command apt get space install space CoachDB space y and hit enter. Now the CoachDB package is installing. Wait for some time until the installation completed. Now the coach TV is installed. Now install the following package apt hyphen get space install space curl space hyphen y and hit enter. Now the package is installed. To verify about installed coach TV run the following command curl space localhost colon 5984 which is the port number for coach db now hit enter here you should get output like this you can verify this by using this link address in your web browser also to create a database by using command line for coach db run the following command so now this command will create the new database in coach db in the name of new underscore database now hit enter here you should get output like this now the database is created next we need to change the ownership for some directories for coach db for a coach db user and coach db group before changing the ownership stop the coach db by running stop coach db and hit enter here you can see we are getting some error to resolve this error run the following command now run this command hit enter and run this command hit enter now we try to stop coach db stop coach db now 
you are not getting any error now the coach db is stopped now run the following command to change the ownership for coach db user in the coach db group now run this command this command will change the ownership for coach db user and the coach db group to this directories there are three directories located here now hit enter now run the following command to change the permissions now run this command hit enter now start coach db type start space coach db and hit enter now it's time to access the coach db database in your browser so open your browser and go to this url hit enter here you can see this is the coach db database we are accessing it from the web browser here you can create some database here you can see everyone is admin which means the admin user is not created yet to fix this click here now we are going to create the admin user type your username and the password and click create now the admin user is created here you can see welcome linux help here you can see this is a database we have created from the command line now we are going to create a database from here we can able to create database either in command line or by using the web browser now enter the name for your database i will give files now click create now database is created here we can add some documents you can click here to add new document here you can enter any value and you can click here to add a new field if you want you can give it any name here If you want to upload any attachment, you can click here to upload. And also, we can able to modify here. Now click here to save the document. Now the document is saved. Click here. Here you can see this is a database we have created, which contains. One document to log out. Click here. So today we have learned about Coach TB. That's all about for this tutorial. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.